Robin got into a fight with Dracula. Today we'll be having a look at DC Multiverse, McFarlane to Toys, DC Multiverse, DC vs. Vampires, Robin. From Orphan Circus Daredevil Dick Grayson to Trouble Teen Jason Todd to the overarching Tim Drake, the Mask of Robin is now worn by Bruce's own, by Bruce Wayne's own son, Damien, a rebellious troublemaker who's been trained by assassins since birth with a lethal skill set and a marginal sense of mercy. Robin no longer needs Batman to protect him from criminals. <clears throat> so this is a generic size for DC Multiverse. This is Robin. So for... They run about 7 inch base. They are usually bigger than most other ones. Some of them are a little oversized. Comes with display stand. Which I actually like that McGarland has display stands. A little trading card with a nice little read up. I read that at the beginning of the video. Just nothing specific to this comic run. Just generic Robin read up. Um, and the other accessories include a sword. A stake. Um, I'm, I don't think he's stabbing himself, but okay. You can see just a little, little red, little red mark on there. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's just an accident of mine. Two fisted hands. A pointing hand. I don't know what he's pointing at. Maybe himself. Who knows? A mauling hand because he's gonna maul everybody else who's not a vampire. And then he has two gripping hands. Now he can hold the sword, although it is just a little snug. I don't know why McFarlane toys, they always have their accessories so snug tight into their hands. Another thing, little, little wonky legs, but it's fine. Mine doesn't really have any issues standing too. It stands pretty well, so no problem there. And then, of course, you know, where to go? You can hold the stake. Now, this doesn't sit in his hand very well. It's a little loose, but it works. You can get him in a good pose with that. And then, just, you know, holding the stake like he's about to go stab somebody. I don't know why he'd want to. He goes out the way. Let's take these off. Again, they're really snug in there. <clears throat> Alright. Let's, let's, let's get some comparisons. So, here's the Infinite Frontier Robin. The legs are mine, are a little weird. Stand very good, but yeah, this one's a little weird. Yep, nope, he's not standing, but you see, essentially just a repainted version. Um, are there any differences? No, hair's different. Obviously, the skin tone's different. The colors are more vibrant on this versus this. These are a little dull. The yellow is a different shade. Black's the same. The boots are the same, just different colored. Yeah. Um, here he is next to Batman Hush. It does not fit on the camera. So let me just scoot that up a little bit. Yeah, you can see this. Is, I like this Batman. It's my favorite one, but it's very large. Compared to the other ones, I'm pretty sure this is bigger than some Superman. But you can see, Batman Robin scales decently well. It's like the only thing that scales well for Mick Marlin. Um, yeah. Just, just, now, <clears throat> I don't know a lot about the DC vs. Vampire run. I know a lot of DC characters got turned into vampires. I know they released other ones, like I think there's a Joker one. A Batman one and a 
Superman one, and they're all Walmart exclusives. This is the only one I have because all the other ones are really expensive to get. So, yeah, but <clears throat> no, I think too special. Now, like I guess that all this is just a basically a repainted version, just some of the colors are a little bit brighter. Um, the teeth, I think. They're a little, I can't tell if that's supposed to be blood or just bad painting. If it's, hope, I'm hoping it's blood. He just took a bite out of somebody. But no, I do like this Robin mold. It's, although sometimes the legs are a little wonky. It looks like he's a little bow-legged. I'm just happy this one, the legs aren't that bad. So yeah, um, let's take a look at the articulation. The head can go all the way around. It can move up and down just a little bit like he's nodding his head. Like, yes, I'm going to suck your blood. I'm going to bite you. Yes. Um, ab crunch, kind of. Again, with the, this, with the plastic material for his costume, it kind of get it a little bit. Um... So about the bicep, double jointed elbows. Um, now with these Robin figures, there is a little bit of movement at the wrist, going up and down, but it can turn fully. Of course, oh, and this one just popped right off. It just popped back on there. And this one can has the. Right there, so with the wrist, elbow joint can only go so far back and so far up. Can't really go out too much. Um, a little bit of voice swivel. Of course, the costume hinders it a little bit. Legs can go up about that much. Can go back about that much. Um, <clears throat> double jointed at the knee, if I can get the other. Yeah, it's a little stiff, might have to heat it up. Double joint at the knee, ankle swivel, can go up and down, and of course, toe joint. No, just a very simple McFarlane toy, McFarlane figure. Um, I generally do like this one, although. It is essentially just a repaint of the other one. They're all generally the repaints of each other. This one's just obviously the. Now I want to say the regular Robin from the Reap from DC Rebirth does not have this color and design right up here. It's actually different colored, but I think all three of them have like the general base model mold. They're just color different. Um, yeah, not, nothing too shabby, but get him in some cool poses, I guess. Like, I'm put him on the display stand, because I generally do, you know, I generally do how to display my McFarlane figures on the display stand. Now, there's one thing I want to look at. Are these swords the same? Yeah, yeah. they're the same sword, just different colored on the handles. The Vampire Robin's gold, the Infinite Frontier one is black, nothing too special. <clears throat> yeah. Damn, just pointing at himself. No, let's see, he can. Let's see if I can get this in here without it. It being so stiff. You see, I can't hold the steak, but that's a, it's a little, that, well, it kind of, it's just kind of a little, little wiggly. It's not very, it's not very sturdy, but. Now, 
Which, yeah, no. Very good figure. I'm happy with it. Um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, wait, hold on. I want to do one more comparison. Just for... Just for something funny. Here he's next to Azrael. Yeah. And here they are next to Batman. And you want to talk about not scaling very good. Um, I don't think Azrael's supposed to be about the same height as Batman. I think Azrael's supposed to be taller. But, yeah. Yeah, this is just funny. Okay. Let's get him out of there. Yeah. But like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I repost new videos. And I hope you enjoyed the, my first tour review and there will be more to come. But this has been a this has been a look at McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse. DC versus Vampires Robin. And yeah. See you next time.